Hello friends, it's Luke the Gamer Duke. Today in Diablo 2 Resurrected, I'm back in Nightmare Terror Zones. I'm throwing another 24 hours at random zones to gear for hell mode. Can I find that beastly gear? Let's go find out. Before we get started, I'm rocking 425% magic find with my entire inventory dedicated to it. Only a few charms and my weapons are omitted. We're looking for mid to higher end unique and set exceptionals and obviously elites. So without further ado, let's get started. The wheels began turning right away in the ancient tunnels. With the unique bone knife. Wizard spike. One of the better daggers with crazy caster rate, heavy mana focus, and all res 75. Not too shabby for a caster. And hey, a magic fine charm. The next hour in the Traven Pool, it really took off. Starting with the unique Joe Staff. Razor Switch. Plus one to all skills, caster rate, and awesome life and mana makes this a great item for any caster. The following run, I came across a staple in D2 finds. The Harlequin Crest Shaco. Plus two to all skills, two to attributes, life and mana based on level, physical damage reduced by 10%, and 50% magic fine. One of the most sought after helms in the game. I also ran across the Salamander Battle Staff, which has some fairly solid perks if you're rocking a Fire Sorceress. In the Rocky Waste, I came across only one unique item but it was Skin of the Flayed One Demon Hide Armor, whose affixes are great for life regen, but that's really all it has. Hour 4 in the Dark Woods started out interesting as my Merc found a random jewel for me. A 30% damager? Damn, that's a keeper. After that, there was only a rare Carnage Helm, but it turned out fairly well with plus 2 Battle Cry and Orders, and a bit to life and lightning res. Over in the Crystalline Passage, we go back to a couple solid uniques. Bariza Do Kyanin Ballista. Ridiculous added attack speed, 100% piercing, awesome enhanced damage, great cold damage, freezes target, and plus 35 to dexterity. An awesome find for a strafer or multi-shotter. Then came across the unique Grim Scythe. Grim's Burning Dead which has plus three to necro skills and great fire resistance, but is otherwise essentially built for a melee character. And a decent rare giant conch, with plus one to barb combats, 5% bonus attack rating, and a bit to life and some lightning res. Swinging on over to the cold plains was only a pair of elite rares. A rare Feral Axe with plus 2 to War Cries, attack speed and solid enhanced damage, along with life and mana leech. Actually not too bad of a find. There is also a rare Ogre Axe, which maybe could be used for your Act 2 Mercenary. The Lost City and Viper Temple in Hour 8 dropped a few decent items, starting with the unique Chaos Armor. Black Hades, which outside of its 3 socket potential is mainly focused on defense. The unique Rune Sword also fell, Plague Bearer, which isn't too bad but definitely caters to a Rabies Druid. And a couple rares with an Amazon focused pair of Van Braces. And another Feral Axe with great attack speed, great damage, and a large chunk to attack rating. Skipping to Hour 11 in the Dark Wood, there was a pair of decent rares, including a War Staff with plus 2 to Lightning skills, 1 to Teleport and Firewall, and great added mana. And a Suea 
with plus three death century, one the blades of ice, and some decent enhanced damage. And hey, alum. Diving back into the Crystalline Passage in Hour 13, I came across the unique Templar coat, Guardian Angel, which is a fairly solid find for a Paladin with plus one to Pally skills, good blocking perks and good defense, and plus 15% max to all resistances. But then, an absolute monster appeared. What is your profession? Immortal King Stone Crusher. Great attack speed, massive enhanced damage, even more damage to demons and undead, crushing blow, and two sockets. An absolute GG find for a barbarian. Hour 15 in the foothills brought in a couple good rares, including a rare jewel with plus max damage and some lightning damage. A rare Joe staff with some great skill perks, including two to sorcerer skills, three to cold mastery, and one to energy shield, and some solid fire resistance, and per usual, a few useless melee affixes. As well as a hunter's guys, with plus two to druid skills and two more to fury. And the set Bramble Mitts dropped which includes some good attack speed, great damage to demons, and good fire res. Skipping down a bit into hour 18 to one of the better places for terrors, the Catacombs, which unfortunately fell a bit short this time. The unique and set sharkskin gloves dropped, which are decent if you don't have much else to use. A rare amulet popped out with good mana and tons of strength. And hey, the Alibaba Talwar. And that means more magic find. Five oh nine, that works. Leaping. Back to the Dark Wood in hour 20 for just one unique, but it was a decent find. Lidless Wall Grim Shield. Plus one to all skills, some caster rate, and some good mana perks. And hey, a foul. Bale and his minions in the World Stone didn't provide shit in hour 22, which was quite unfortunate. There were a few wildly random rares though. A small crescent with crazy attack speed and plus damage based on level. Another Sawaya with plus two to traps, two more to blade fury, and it's ethereal with auto repair. A Hyperion spear with crazy damage with the chance to cast amplify damage. and a Grim Scythe with plus max damage based on level and an absurd amount of attack rating based on level. And to bring it all home in Hour 24, the Forgotten Tower with a pair of uniques to finish it off. The unique Dimensional Blade, Ginther's Rift, which is an interesting one with great attack speed, decent enhanced damage, and crazy added magic damage. And lastly, something wonderful for an Amazon. Lycander's Flank Ceremonial Pike. Plus two to Amazon skills, two more to Jav and Spear skills, great attack speed and enhanced damage, more added base damage, life leech, great strength and vitality, and even some added percent defense. A Stabazon is walking away very happy from this one. Well, there we are. 24 hours of random nightmare terror zones. There were some pretty solid finds through all this, and for several characters too. Let's quickly run through some of the best. The unique Ballista Breeza Doe for its insane perks for a strafer. The unique Shaco Heralcon Crest with plus two to all skills, crazy life and mana, damage reduction and magic find. The unique Joe Staff Razor Switch and the unique Bow Knife Wizard Spike for their well-rounded affixes, making both great for any caster. 
The unique Templar coat, Guardian Angel, is great for any shielded paladin. The unique Grim Shield, Lidless Eye, for its overall caster perks. The unique Ceremonial Pike, Lancaster's Flank, for its absurd perks catered for a Stabazon. And the Set Ogre Maul, Immortal King's Stone Crusher, an absolute beast mode item for a Barb Swinger. And don't forget to keep an eye out for rares, as there were some good finds there as well, including the Barb Focused Feral Axe, the War Staff for a Lightning Sorceress, the Joe Staff for a Cold Sorceress, the Hunter Guys for a Fury Druid, and an Amulet for some insane strength and mana. So it seems, yes, there are some great items to be found while grinding Nightmare Terror Zones to gear yourself for Hell Mode. But feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Do you run Nightmare Terror Zones? What are some of the better items you found? Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this run through. And for additional D2R content, click here. Or click here if you're interested in my current review of Last Epoch. And remember to subscribe for more fun Diablo and other ARPG gameplay analytics. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Adios.